What is going on YouTube? This is Jake and I'm back with another video. Today we are taking the project down to go get a window tint. I am doing a 35% tint on the car. I'm also headed down to West Seattle to have wheels ceramic coated so that they can finally get placed on the car here. So a really big exciting day uh, for some cosmetic stuff with the BMW. All right, guys, what is going on? Made it down here to Dealer Express in Auburn. And so this is what it's looking like now. So this is stock. I'm thinking about doing 35% or maybe 30% because I like it dark. However, I do plan to have a roll cage. So that's why I'm going lighter. Because there's no point in having a roll cage if you can't see it. But yeah, we'll see what's up. Um, I'm going to look at a couple different options, see what they've got and uh, heads up. All right, guys, so I'm back home now. Here are, there are the rims. Uh, gotta get them loaded up in here. Gotta get those all loaded up uh, and headed down to West Seattle now. The car is currently getting tinted. So we went with a 35% film. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Should be ready around three o'clock. So we started the day around 8 a.m. Um, so right now it's about 12. Uh, so I gotta head down there. We're gonna meet a local guy who's got a shop down there who's gonna be able to ceramic coat these rims and they are going to look mint. So excited to get down there. Uh, I'm gonna throw these in the car now and uh, we'll be on the road again. Basically, this is a free coat. It's, it's basically a... Um, isopropyl alcohol wipe down and we'll just kind of mist it. And then I'm just, it's pretty simple. Yeah. And so is that just getting all any like residue off? Basically, like yeah, if there's, if there's fingerprints, if there's oils from anything, such and such. And then, so we'll coat all these, like all these areas too. Let me do this. But these are brand new, so they're pretty straightforward. It's an amazing product, the IGL Pre-Coat. Yeah. You can even buy it on, I think you can even get it on Amazon now. Right on. Do you like- the, A lot of the IGL products, not yeah. the coatings, but the products you can buy like from, uh, from Amazon or Auto Geek or whatever. So you don't really need a whole lot? No, not really. Um, the thing about these is when, that's more than I thought, that's awesome. Yeah, the, these coatings go a long ways. Basically, on these we're probably gonna go from down here, around, yeah, we'll do it like that. So we'll start from like the, the close edge down there and then come back up this way with this. And this one is not one that we cross hatch. It's just, we go one way with it. Otherwise it can be difficult leveling. And so should you do this process uh, every so often or how long is this um, going to typically last? These coatings, um, especially with an industrial coating on this wheel and a car is not a daily driver, uh -huh. um, you're not gonna need to do this again how it's turning that rainbow color yep so that means the coating's already starting to flash and so we don't want to wait too long with this industrial coating to start leveling it okay because it's a very quick flashing coating otherwise we'll have trouble leveling it got it so i'm actually going to go the opposite way of how sometimes you got to use a little bit of water on your towel to get it damp and I'm already feeling a lot of resistance. Got it. So you got to do this quick, otherwise you'll be in trouble. Awesome. Then we just look at it in all kinds of different light angles. And so the with this coating on the wheel coating, um, it doesn't flash as quickly as the industrial coating does. Okay. So after we get these all 
coated, we're gonna let them sit for like 15 to 20 minutes before we level it. Sweet. That's how we get a real nice strong bond with it. So you start leveling a coating um, before it's really had enough of a chance to bond with the paint and yeah. you're not feeling resistance when you remove the coating, that means you probably don't have that strong of a bond with it. And sweet. And so we're using a different product, something more Yeah, so uh, we're gonna go to the commercial. wheel coating now. Okay. So this is the IGL wheel coating. This is actually, I think this one might be available to purchase to the general public. And the other thing to know about these yeah. is that a lot of people will coat a surface by going on what they see while they're doing it. Mm -hmm. But if you learn how to do it by feel, you can get a lot more out of your product and take it a lot further. Got it. Because even if it doesn't necessarily look like it's coated yet, you'll be surprised when you start seeing it flash. Interesting. And then to confirm that when you say flash, it's that rainbow yeah. color yeah. that we're looking for? Not all okay. coatings do that, but these ones do. Got it. And with the IGL coatings, they're pretty user friendly. So even if, let's say, you accidentally waited too long to start leveling the surface, it's pretty easy to just fix that. But, I mean, generally speaking, any coating I do, if it's like an IGL coating, we're going to let it at least sit at minimum 10 minutes. Right on. Okay. Sometimes I'll let them go for like 20. Okay. But they're they're pretty user friendly. Now, what do you recommend for wheel cleaner? Because I use I use right now I'm using on alloys, but I, I mean it's or just some cast rims. Yeah. I'm just using Grios's um, heavy duty wheel cleaner. Mm -hmm. um, is that too tough on something like this or? Well, well, on a coated wheel, you don't really need to be using anything too crazy. I mean, most of the time, soap and water is going to clean this. Really? Thing. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And if not, man, I mean, say only pH balanced soap. And it amazes me how much like product you use. You, didn't, you barely used anything. Yeah. You can take it the distance. That's what, that's why I said, I mean, if you learn how to coat by feel instead of sight, right. You'll be surprised at what starts flashing that you didn't think was coated. Yeah. That's awesome. And then as long as you feel the resistance when you like grab this uh -huh. if, if you want and yeah. then um, press it in against the thing and you can feel the resistance like when you're oh yeah give it a little bit of pressure and you can feel how it feels resistant. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So basically and then they get really slick too after typically but if i was doing something of a, a lower grade than than what we did for the 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 barrel of the yeah. wheel mm -hmm. then we do a second coat for both yeah. right yeah, okay totally and we're letting this sit for two hours uh, yeah on these i'm gonna i'm gonna let them sit at least two hours okay cool yeah. right on yeah so it's pretty easy straightforward as long as you got the right product and yeah, it basically, yeah. I mean, depending on the coating you're using too, because yeah. they're all, they're not all completely, they don't all behave the same. Got it. Okay. So, um, as long as you know your product and know how it works, then it's pretty straightforward. And okay. just for the people on digital, where can they find you at? So, uh, you can find me at diamondfoxdetail.com. Okay. And then if you type in Diamond Fox Detail online, I'll just come up. Sweet. Right so, on. Yeah. Okay. And you do full on like anything for detailing, right? Like whether that's... Yeah. I mean, I specialize in, in the paint correction and coatings, but I also do all the standard detailing stuff and then um, maintenance detailing stuff. Cool. Too. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for coming, man. And here it is, the finished and final product. And there is the tint. That is 35%. And I like it. Uh, the only thing that happened was up here, it's got a little bit, these these little, It's I guess it's hard to get out the air bubbles. Um, so this should cure within two to three days. If it doesn't, I can go back here and get it uh, reapplied or redone, or they're able to fix something there. But overall, it looks really, really good.
So the only reason why I went so light is because I plan to do a roll cage in the back and maybe some upgraded seats. And so I just want people to be able to see that, but it's also dark enough to where you can see me uh, in the reflection and to help prevent some of the sunlight from coming in. This is what it looks like in the garage right now. I know the garage is messy, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, in the dark, it's gonna be, it's gonna look dark, um, which is great. Um, and then during the day, I mean, you're definitely gonna be able to see through, uh, but that's more or less the point of the film uh, is to, you know, be able to see and spot a roll cage there in the back once I land up getting that done. All right, guys, and here is the finished product after it has been ceramic coated and i could not be happier with these these look stunning but thanks for watching this video guys if you guys don't mind like down below uh, also don't forget to comment if you guys have any questions about anything but next week should be fun as i start to look at some new suspension um, as far as coilovers and uh, look at getting some meat for those wheels. And like that, you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch y'all on the flip.